Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. Um, I know I've been doing quite a few tours lately, but as I'm working on like other things, um, I've also been working on this barn, and I figure this should be a good time to give this barn a tour. It's not completely, completely finished, but it's finished to the point where like I feel like I could do a tour on it. Um, but this is Cherry Blossom Stables, and it is very pretty. Um. I just love the new Minecraft update, and I was like, I have to, I have to use these cherry trees. Like, I'm not a big pink fan, but these trees are so pretty, and it's falling all over me. <laughs> but yeah, so as you can see, there's a barn over there. Um, that's for a different time. But yeah, let's just get straight into this tour. Um, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just, let's just get into the tour. Okay, so we're inside the barn, and when you first walk inside, you have these two like actually three really nice pastures um on this side is the stallions and on this side is the mares and um i'll just show you inside this pasture so you know it's kind of like you know because i didn't want it to be really clean in this pasture so i feel like it needs to be like it, it's been used you know um but i'll just show you the horses we have astro and who's back here come here and Lopez, they're two stallions, and each thing has, you know, trees, hay, and um, a little water tree. So yeah, those are the horses in this pasture, and you can open this pasture so they can run back and forth, but they're chilling for now. Here we have Hotshot, Diago, Thunder, and I think that's all the ones in this pasture, I believe. Yeah, really nice. I really like the pastures. They took forever, though, because these are end rods and, like, dark oak posts, and it took forever. <laughs> yeah, here we have another water trough. Hey, and this is the mayor's pasture, or a mayor's pasture. So here we have Jade, um, Dancer, and all the horses should be outside. Natalia, Silky, and Ivy. All really pretty horses, and I really like it. So you can go either this way or this way, but we're gonna go straight on into the first barn slash main barn. Um, so this is the first barn. Um, this these stalls are six by six, and they have their feed bucket, water bucket, hay net, and then they also have these little pat uh, padding under. And you can actually open these into their runs, and the runs are pretty nice. And in the winter. If it's too like mushy or something to maybe go out into the big paddocks, you can always open these up and they can all just chill out in their runs or in here or in their stalls. But usually if we do do that, we do um, close their stalls so none of the other horses escape through them. But yeah, usually when they are in their stalls, both of those are open in case. But if they're on stall rest, we just have this open, but not, not into that small little pasture. So yeah, this is the stallion side. This is Lopez's stall. Mayor's side is the exact same. And yeah, same style, all that jazz. Um and yeah, and I'm not really sure how many stalls are in here. That's a pretty big stable. I really like it. And now I'm actually gonna go back and we're gonna go um we'll go this way. Um, over here is another stable. Um, here we have a nice big pasture. And if we keep on moving. This is, um, just kind of a side stable, and in the back there are runs. Um, I like this stable. There's also, like, little windows you can open. I really like the design. Um, but again, water, feed, hay net, shavings, and the runs lead straight to the fence. Which is nice. They're pretty big runs too, so that's always nice. And yeah, there's these are mares and I mean mares and geldings. I don't. There might be one stallion. I'm not really sure. But yeah, here's um one of the other pastures. I didn't want the same designs for every single barn, so I did try and change it up the best I could. Like for these, you could always open these, and they could have a nice little airy flow. Him. Here's their water trough, hay, and here we have caterpillar. I may have spelled some of these names wrong. I'm sorry. Over here we have Sunny, Mandalorian, Barista, and Red. 
And then this pasture just fits two horses, um, water and hay. And in here we have Story and Malibu, who are both mares. And Malibu doesn't really like um, male horses, so she chills with it. Story most of the time. So now we'll go this way. And so over here, these are our dry locks. And if you don't know what dry locks are, they're pretty much um, pastures with maybe like a little grass here and there, but there's not really a lot of grass. And I really like the texture in these, if I'm being completely honest. But they have these little shelters with hay, you know, like shavings kind of thing. Um, the hay and water's not in here because no horses need to be in here right now. Um, but pretty much if a horse can't be on grass but you still need outside time, you can always put them in here. But all horses have access to hay 24-7. And I really like this. It brings like a nice little thing. And there's also a pathway that leads to it that way. Over here is another barn. This is for like horses, you know, that are going to training and all that. And we just have some little jumps in here. And some little like pole practicing, cavalettis, all the stuff. And these stalls are actually five by six, I believe. But this is cloudy stall, hay, water, and a hay net, and matting. They all have that same features. Um, well, if we do come over here, Sergeant actually has this huge stall. Um, if we do need to put like a horse who can't go outside for a while, we can put them in this stall. It's really big, and Sergeant would just have to move somewhere else momentarily. Um, but because it like curves, you have like that big extra stall. You could do it either way, but I feel like right there was the best. And I'll show you the horse pasture. So this pasture has, has a different styles as well. It's um actually spruce trap doors with a thing, and I think it's kind of cool. So in here we have woo and and jack and then in this pasture we have lilac and um enchanted and tilly again water hay and this is a really big pasture this pasture took absolutely forever um but this is our biggest pasture i think here we have oliver sylvester Cloudy, Marigold, Sergeant, and I think those are all the horses in this um, pasture, but it's really big, and they, they all like to chill over there for some reason. Don't really know why, but it's it's fine. It's, it's great. It's great. Now we'll go ahead, and we'll head this way. And if we head this way, so outside this barn we have the cross ties. Cross ties are pretty simple. They have these nice little skylights, though, so they are covered in case it is raining. You could always tack them in your stalls, but pretty much you bring them in, hook them up, grab your grooming stuff, and it does have a drain in case you do need to wash them, which is always nice. And we'll come over here now. This is the tack slash feed room. It's the only one we have, but oh well. Um, we don't really have everything in here right now, but you know we have things like supplements, injections, hard brush. Sweat scrapers and sponges, hoof picks, hairbrush, and then this is all their feed. Um, oats, Timothy pellets, chaff, alfalfa pellets, performance mix, sport mix, mixed feed, senior mix, sweet berry mix, berry mix, beet mix, high performance carrots, watermelon, and pumpkin. Anvils, just got some like, books and all that. And we just have saddles, all the saddle pads, blankets, halters, and extra stuff. So yeah, that's just a little tack slash feed room, and if we go and head over here, we have the hay and shaving storage, and then the poop pile. Of course, um, we'll go ahead this way. Yeah, so these are the big slash private slash main full stalls. So you can put a main full in here, um, and they can you know grow up and out here, and they're pretty private, which is good. Um. But if you did have like two horses that you possibly want to board here, you could stick them in here. And it's. They are really nice, I will admit. Um, but yeah, there's three of those. And then if we actually come back here, 
So this is, I think, the newest thing I made. So this is our little racetrack. So pretty much, you load them in, and then, you know, they kind of stand against the gate, and then when you're ready to go, um, if it's just you, go anytime, but just, you know, when you're all ready to go, you just hop on these pressure plates, and you go all the way down, and I'll show you where it ends, but you pretty much go all the way along the side, and then there's, like, a round pen thing over there, I'll show you, but you can either turn around and come back and go out here, or just pull out over there, whatever workout you need to do. And it didn't take a really long time, but I still really like it. So now if we come back over here, definitely doing this in order. We have the round pens. There's two right here, and they do have some, like, texture in it, which I thought was kind of cool. You can just lend your horse around, or if you need, like, stick a horse momentarily in here, you can. They're, they're pretty nice. They're not too big, not too small. This is the first arena I built, and I didn't really like how tall it was, but that's why the rest of them are smaller, but um, this is just a little training jumping one, some cavalettis, all the good stuff. I'm not really going to go too much in depth into that. And this is the second barn I built. This one's like wider, but it has less stalls, but this is just mares and geldings, so stallions. Um, but this is the stalls. Again, hay net, feed, and water. They're, they all have the same sort of layout, just all different styles. And they don't have runs, but all of them are in pastures as much as possible. Like all the horses. Here we have Cruz, Sherbert, Apex, and then in this pasture we have Sylvie, Casper, Mystic. Yeah, those are all the horses in, uh, in these two pastures. Over here, we'll get to that in a second, but yeah, stalls are really nice. I really like them. It's a very big barn. Um, This is kind of more of a lesson horse barn, I think, in my opinion. Here's some more pasture, and then we have motion and tough in here, and yeah. And this is another entrance to that same pasture. We have another round pen, and now we'll go over here. Um, here's, um, like, the training arena, um, there's tarps, little trap poles, poles, bridges, cavalettis, all the, all the good stuff. I really like it. And now we're gonna go to the cross-country course. There's nothing here. I'm planning on putting something here, but I'm not really sure yet. So, the cross-country course doesn't really have a course, but I'll just show you the jumps. So we have this one, this one... And then this one, which you kind of go up and over, and over this. We have a water type jump thing, so this one you can just jump in here and jump out, or whatever way you want. Uh, we have this jump, which you just kind of slide right over almost. <laughs> um, this jump, which is just a nice little double, this little like water to over the hedge type jump. Just a simple little, you know, hey. Um, a uh, trough jump, um, a water jump, which you do jump it this way. Um, this is like my favorite jump. I freaking love this thing, but you kind of have to like, time it right and jump through. And what other jumps am I missing? Oh, this one, which is just a little pop over. And yeah, I'll just give you a little overview of it. And I do really like the cross country course. It's simple and you could always stick some like little jumps out there as well and practice jumping outside. So, yes. Um. So over here again we have a round pen and then this is the newest barn I built. This is the big show barn type barn and it's it's humongous. Um. I only have one pasture for it. I need to make another one. Um, no horses are outside right now, they're all inside until I build another pasture, but... Yeah, there are some empty stalls for, um, breeding. Um, but this is Bambi, and I'll show you the stalls. They don't have any hay or water in them at the moment. I need to work on that. <laughs> Again, not finished quite yet, but... I'll just show you the horses. We have Bambi. He is a stallion. Daisy. She's a mare. Knight. Dart, Winnie, 
um, Chief, and then over here we have Hayes, Shimmer, Dolly, Ellie, Frisco, Freddy, and then there's a couple horses on this side. It's not, this, this full row is empty, I know that. We have Climax, Hubert, Sunbum, Poison Ivy, Turk, and that's all the horses in this barn. So the rest of the stalls are empty, but it's just so big. It, it honestly didn't take too long because it's a pretty simple design, and it's honestly my favorite barn. I'm not even going to lie. Here's the pasture. Um, I'll probably put a pasture here. And then put like maybe a gate so like I could always just walk them or just put all of them in one huge pasture. And then I'm also planning on putting a pasture here. So yeah, but um, I'll show you the racetrack. So as you can see, you go down and then you come around this turn. You don't have to run the whole way. You can always slow down and turn back. You just let someone know. And then you go all the way down and then as you see down here you can like start you probably start slowing down a little back there and then you just kind of take a wide turn and then just start going down or you can turn back and go back that way or you can exit through here and make your way back over so yes this is the stable um i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with it i just was like all right i'm gonna build a stable and we'll go from there so yes i did hope you did enjoy this barn tour and i will see you guys in the next one bye